guys so today we'll uh, do a video on how to synchronize your level wind reels uh, you need to do this if your reel when you put it into free spool and you spin the when you spin the spool and you see the level wind moves so it means that the, your 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 reel or your level wind needs to be synchronized with the line or else if you don't um, you will put a lot of pressure on the level wind it can fail uh, usually what fails is the, the what, what you see in the bottom right here the warm gear it fails because you put a lot of pressure on it okay and when does it usually happen usually when you like in this case I winded the line all the way okay and I can guarantee you that you know then you have to synchronize the the level wind and the line again and number two when you remove the side plate okay when you service the reel and you remove the side plate it's almost certain that you you need to synchronize your level wind okay so let's start so first thing you need to do is remove the side plate side plate so I'm doing it on a, a Takoda 500 Shimano Takoda 500 and later we'll do it on a Daiwa Saltese um, 20HC okay as I've said most conventional overhead reels level wind conventional overhead reels will have a synchronized level wind when I say synchronized it's uh, actually the spool the level wind moves as the spool spins and because and you'll see there's a gear there right so that's the gear that moves the level wind so that's the first thing you're gonna do the next just remove the tape okay So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the level one all the way to the end to the point before it goes to the opposite direction. So look for that point just about where it changed direction. So right here. Okay, then right there. And then I'm just going to keep pulling the line until it lines up almost there. There you go a bit more okay, so I'm gonna return them okay now to fine-tune it you're gonna put back the side plate but don't don't screw it back yet so we, we need to find out if it's uh, lined up already and as you can see I need to fine-tune it so it's still not straight um, the line is at uh, advanced compared to where the level wind is okay so I remove the plate again then advance the level wind a little bit okay then Put the back, the left back plate. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, all right, it's lined up again. Okay, so in that manner, you don't put a lot of uh, pressure on the level wind, especially if the level wind is here and your line is over here on the other end. That is almost certain to uh, 
to break your uh, your your level one. Your level one was certainly fail. It happened to me, but it was a cheaper gear, a uh, cheaper reel. But you know what? I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it with this uh, with a more expensive reel. Okay. Okay. So. So it would be a good practice to prevent um, your line to, from passing through the level line all the way, okay? You should always put a loop at the end and make sure The end of the line doesn't pass through the level line. Okay. Okay. Again. So. See, as you can see, it's lined up again. All right. So let's reel it in. As I've said, avoid. reeling your line all the way okay so you always have to leave a little line and then what I do is I make a loop then loop it around the the feet of the the reel and there you go okay now that's a synchronized level wind and that's to prevent your level wind from breaking because most of the time this is the first uh, to fail the level wind uh, you know it's very convenient for me to uh, to use a level wind because I don't have to uh, worry about spreading the line when I'm reeling back the, the uh, you know when I'm reeling um, however it's a pain it's more complicated to service and it's the first thing that fails in a reel okay now okay now, now this time let's do it again now this time we're gonna do it on um, uh, my Daiwa Saltiste this is a Daiwa Saltiste 20H-C it's a, it has an auto engage um, feature good alternative for an OSHA jigger And you just have to replace the power handle. For this case, I use the power handle from a Shimano Torio. Okay, remove the side plate. Okay, move the level one to the end, all the way to the end, just to the point before it changes direction. So, oops, so this is the point right here. Well, I think the line is on that point also. Well, since the line is already at that point, I think this will be easier. So let me just... Okay. Let's see if we can get it with one try.
Well, I think I got lucky. Okay. I think I got lucky. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Just I just need to. Uh -oh. Just need to move the level a little bit to the right. Okay, there you go. There you go. Now they're lined up. Okay. So. The problem is the plate will go all the way in. There you go. So let's see what's going on here. With most bait casters you don't have to worry about it most bait, bait casters uh, doesn't have a synchronized level wind um, this is maybe an exception with uh, uh, the Daiwa Lexa 300 that I used to have has a uh, synchronized level wind same thing by the way with the Abu Garcia round bait casting reels the C I have the C 6500 6500 that's what I have the c3 as a synchronized level wind again just to to find out if it, it's a synchronized level wind all you need to do is just put it into free spool and spin the level wind oh I'm sorry spin the spool and if you see the level double wind move so it means it's a it needs to be synchronized with the line okay all right okay so we're gonna put a little loop at the end. Then I'm gonna loop it at, on the foot of the reel before I How are you still recording a video? Almost done, baby. Okay. Okay. There you go. So let's put a loop at the end and make sure that the end of the line doesn't pass through the level one and you'll be fine. But again, uh, when you service it and you remove the side plate, I'm almost certain that your level one will become out of sync. Other than that, as long as you don't remove the um, the plate and you prevent the line the end of the line from passing through the level one then you you'll be fine okay guys thank you for watching and uh please do subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye